Hi and welcome to Tabletop Gaming, my name is Charlie and today I'm very excited because we're taking a look at some more Conquest. Now, we have done this before, you may have seen our video on the Wadroon um, and some of the associated bits and bobs that come with it too, um, but this time we have something slightly different. We have the Ice Jontar which is in the Artisan series. So where previously we've been opening boxes that have full warband sets, this is a single one um, but a very, very impressive one at that. So I thought we could take a look, get some first impressions, uh, see what you think to it and I would love to know your thoughts in the comments um, as to what you think in regards to do you like it, are you impressed, would you pay the money for it, let me know. So something that I really like about Conquest is that they are very very good with giving us the story and the reason why and that's what I love about it. I love learning um, about the Wadroon being, how they are, why they are, the different factions of how that influences things, what their society is like um, and that leads to some really interesting characters because you feel more invested in their story. So as with any other, it gives us a little bit here. Um, so for this one, they tell us that few and far in between, Ice Jontar are the nobility of their kind and the most powerful of the Jotuns. Gifted with an innate mastery over storm and ice, their massive forms are sheathed with heavy ice and rhyme, allowing them to wade into battle unscathed, while conjuring jagged shards of ice from thin air to hurl at their foes until they close the distance with their hapless foe. Sapped with strength and vitality by the aura of the unnatural cold that wreaths their titanic forms, foes are easy prey to these massive warriors. And certainly they are massive, I will show you in a moment what they look like inside. Credit where credit's due, this was sculpted by Michael Contaris um, and is a sort of collectible that you can get with him. So... Just to add in a couple of differences actually before we go on, um, the box is now a soft touch box which is different to the ones that we've received previously which are your standard cardboard um, and we've also got this glossy front too which is really beautiful. So shiny box aside let's take a look in and here we are. Okay so for quite a large box we've got quite a lot of white space so physically unused space which is I find always frustrating but I understand the logic of having something you can fit on your shelf that matches the size of the other ones but you can see this is just block cardboard uh, but we've got multiple packages we've got our card that we can use um, and I believe we'll have some instructions at the bottom or I'd be very surprised if not so let's lead with the card that you have first so you will have those for each of your armies and multiple pieces now wow you can already tell very very quickly um that these are going to be pretty big because this alone let's just pull this out so i can show you this alone is the torso so is it torso when it's legs no it's torso when it's body this alone is the legs um so that makes it up so normally our miniatures we're looking at sort of like i say this size maybe i'm not very good with sort of perspective when we do it like this um but actually these are huge these are towering um and the stand that we put them on is quite hefty as well which sort of goes to show what the weight is like of them i wonder now officially in theory obviously you're going to be doing this with uh, the proper equipment cutting it down and gluing it together and um, i'll see if i can just sort of gently assemble it so we can take a proper look at it as we go um but it will work work on an if i fit i sit because instructions aren't needed probably not anyway look just look at the detailing there look at him that's really really impressive and um, so obviously here's our person is he going to fit in there? Have I missed out a part? Has he got a longer body than I realised? He does not, he should fit in there. But we'll need to cut away those extra little markers. But, not as easy as thought. So this, this almost looks like an extra dragon on the side. It's not, it's ice peaks, ice spears um, that are to sit on his arm and of which I can't get into. There we go. Will be one of his arms, although which one is another matter? That one? That fits, so it sits. Ah, oh, it won't fit together. I may have to show you this sort of separately in separate pieces. So here's your arm for that one creature. We have some quite impressive sort of small, I want to say paraphernalia, but there is a hand in here, and the hand is like important because who doesn't need a hand? Um these are very very delicate very delicate i'm always nervous of these they feel very sturdy but at the same time they are miniatures so i am i have some concerns but that's not the only one we also have a skull there more pointed ice 
and incredibly delicately, and I'm a little bit scared with this one, is these links here. So, so delicate. And will look so impressive when they come together. Now we don't stop there. We also have our staff. There's our other hand as well. So these are your sort of flags. We have that second hand, which is very, very cool. Um, and a further flag on the inside. And then the last one to unwrap is this sort of, I feel like almost like bone spire that goes around here. That's this one. So a couple of tidy little bits to pull off of that one to clean it up, but otherwise very impressive. The last physical thing in the box is a sort of plastic plating that you can then pop that onto uh, so that you don't then lose, but then there is nothing left inside. So let's have a quick look and just see if I can pop things together gently so you can have an idea, um, but ultimately it's going to need some proper care and attention uh, to put these together nicely. Now, while this isn't ideal because I don't have the equipment here to be able to put it together properly, um, this gives you an idea of what it will look like when it comes together, which is incredibly impressive, um, but also how sort of intricate it is. So all of the details that are included, down to the little skulls that are on there, the imprints we've got, like even the artwork across here, that tiny, tiny, fragile little thing there. Uh, sort of the chain, sorry, I should say. Um, and that expression is phenomenal. That's believable, and it's on a miniature. Now, yes, whilst the miniature is rather large, because, I mean, the size of my hand next to it shows you it's not the smallest of things, this would look so impressive on any table. Just look at those. Look at the stitching detail, the marks on the skull. That's astonishing. Now the one thing after popping our little go together that I did find uh, is our instructions which aren't overly clear. They're okay, they're fine, they'll do the job, um, but if I fit I sits works just as well as this does, um, so just keep that in mind if you decide to put them together. The cost of this, I was going to say little guy, but he's massive, uh, is 100 euros, so considering his size and how intricate he is, let me know in the comments, are you happy with that, do you think that's reasonable, um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, with all that you can check out the link to them, I'll pop that in the description, um, it is of course Parabellum doing Conquest and Last Target of Kings, um, but ultimately, Thank you so much for watching. Uh, head to tabletopgaming.co.uk for all of your tabletop gaming and miniature war gaming needs um, and make sure you hit like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.